What's up, y'all? Can't breathe with these pants. I'm trying to look cute and all that. I'm going to the movies later with my nephew. We're going to take him to eat um, giant pizza. So that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm doing this video because I really wanted to um, engage with my audience and kind of like give you guys a little bit more about who I am because I feel like I started doing these videos and I really didn't put any thing to connect like I you, pe people can connect with the type of videos that I was doing and that's fine you know that's all practice but this whole this entire year was a year of practice for YouTube for myself but slowly I'm trying to find my passion and my content and you know this video is more about me and who I am and um I want you guys to get to know me I want you guys to connect with me I want to connection you feel me i wanted to do this video i want to connect more with my audience i want to find an audience that i can you know call my moonies you know that's gonna be my fan base name moonies i want to call them moonies and i want to create i want to create a platform of people that could relate to who i am because i'm very hyper i'm either way too happy or i'm either way too sad <laughs> so weird Anyways, but I want to I wanna find an audience where I can build a platform to create, you know, be yourself. I feel like we're living in this generation now where nobody is being themselves. Everybody's covering up who they are. Everybody has this, this facade of like who they need to be or who they have to be. And, you know, I right now I'm just peeling off all the pieces of who I'm not. So... You know, I'm 30, I'm going to be 31, and, you know, it's a little late in the game to, to do all this, but nothing is ever too late, so whatever. So then, that's where I'm going with my YouTube. Let's see, I'll keep you guys posted with, like, what else I want to do with YouTube or, like, you know, but then again, this is my first year of YouTube, you know, I want to, I just feel like I don't want to just make stupid videos or, like, random videos i really want to build a brand with revolveness moon like i want to take it to another level i just don't know i'm not really sure what it is or where am i gonna go but i feel something i'm just something's there it's gonna come one day but you know with patience all right so i i, I created a list of of q and a's of you know to ask myself but apparently i lost the freaking paper um but then I realized I didn't lose the paper. I just printed the, remember the video before this one? Um, the Would You Rather video? I printed two sheets and the two sheets were Would You Rather video, Would You Rather questions. So I guess I didn't print them out the way I thought I did. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna go to the internet and just grab like a bunch of questions that I can relate to or I can answer that are easy and fast and cute. Mm -hmm and um all right so let's do this and oh i also wanted to talk about my name so revolveness moon came from my obsession with sunflowers and um how flower i i just have i love the whole background i'm not gonna get into it but i just love the whole background story of the sunflowers and how they grow and how they you know follow the sun and they follow the moon so it's pretty awesome and i'm obsessed with space and the moon and planets and the universe and i'm obsessed with sunflowers and that's it i mean that's where the the oh and also i'm not allergic to i'm allergic to all flowers except for sunflowers and i just think that's crazy because it was just meant to be i was meant to be Revolve in this moon, if you know what I mean. Anyways, that was corny, but I don't care. All right, so gotta have the blick stacks on deck, you know, on the side, just in case when you're talking, your lips get dry. Oh, and I just did a rhyme. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I should have been prepared. I had time to create, recreate a list of questions, but um, that's fucking boring. Like, I don't want to look too perfect. Because I'm not fucking perfect. And nobody is perfect. You see where I'm going with this? Mm-hmm. Your favorite candle scent. I like the linen. Like, I like the downy smell. Like, that clean, fresh, um, softener smell. It's hard to explain, but I just, I don't really. Vanilla's cute. 
Ooh, cinnamon is cute too. Either, but then cinnamon can be a little bit overwhelming. So maybe I'll do, um, let's see. I like the, like the linen smell. Can you do a split? Hell no, I could try. <laughs> did your mother go to college? Yes, yeah, she did. She just got her master's literally a few months ago. So crazy. What flavor tea do you enjoy? I love me some ginger tea. I love ginger tea. How many countries have you been? I've been to Paris, Dominican Republic, Miami. Um, two? <laughs> uh, yeah, two. I have a, uh, I went to college also. I have a bachelor's in business management and then I have a minor on entertainment media management. So I really, I'm very into media and um, entertainment and all that. Maybe that's why this YouTube live is so for me. Hopefully I get better at it. Uh, yes, I'm married. I'm gonna hit two years of marriage. On Halloween, me and my husband decided to get married on Halloween because that's our favorite holiday. And it was pretty awesome getting married on Halloween because everybody was dressed up in the courtroom. It was awesome. Where were you born? I was born in New York City in the, at the Presbyterian Hospital in Manhattan. And um, yeah, I lived in the Bronx a little bit. Then I lived in Washington Heights. So I, I'm like 50-50, but I feel I consider myself more of a Washington Heights girl. What is what are your favorite things about yourself? My one of my favorite things is my personality. I think it comes naturally sometimes and I just feel like you know people I mean I don't see it at times but because of other people telling me that I I walk in a room and you know I take over. So that's pretty awesome to like you know I shine. I have this aura that you know of happiness okay i take that that's one of the best things that i've ever heard about myself and and it's pretty awesome you know and i try to stay with that energy high to you know i don't i mean i gotta stay humble but how i could be shy but once i break that shyness is over um my compassion for other people um i care a lot like i love that about myself that i have a heart and i'm not harsh towards people no matter how much you hurt me i will still be nice to you um, yeah, those things I like about myself. My body, my body is cute. But, you know, it could get better because I need to work out more. Well, now I don't really work out, but I do yoga. But I wish I was more consistent with my yoga. I really want to do yoga like seven days a week instead of five days a week. Okay, I'm lying. I don't do five days anymore. Now I do like two or three days. And that's not good because, you know, when you do yoga consistently, your body stretches and stretches and stretches more. And then when you stop, it's kind of like, oh, you get stiff and tense. And, you know, that fucks with your... You get cranky, moody. Like, nah, I need to get on my shit. Best physical features. I don't know. I think my lips. And, um, my lips. And I love these two teeth. These are my favorite. What inspires you? Oh, what inspires me? I think what inspires me is learning something new. I remember, you know, I used to get so frustrated when I learned something new. I didn't want to learn nothing new. But then when you got when I got older, I'm like, oh my God, I want to learn more, 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 more. Like, I think that's what inspires me, learning something new. Just, it makes me, I don't know, it puts butterflies in my stomach. Who's your favorite person in the world? My mom and my husband. Uh, what is your full name? So my full name is Melissa Jarvis Mercedes Abreu Rodriguez Malte. Yes, it's a long name. Um, who did you look up to growing up? To be honest, my mom maybe, but I re I really didn't have anybody to grow up with. Like I mean to look up to. Like I really didn't. Um, my mom is the only one that taught me to always work for yourself. Don't rely on any men. Um, you know, you are your own person and always stick to that. So I guess she is. Which of your parents are you the closest? My mom, duh. Which of your parents are you most more like? I'm 50-50. I'm like my father, a crybaby, a little bitch. And then my mom, she's more of the strong one. So she got that strong attitude. I think I got it from her. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What else do we got here? 
What is your biggest fear? Whoa, we're going like that now. I fear myself because of discipline. Discipline, like discipline is really hard. And sometimes you could do, you could go left or you could go right. And you know, it's kind of like the devil and the angel. And then you gotta always choose your path in a right way. And it's like, I'm the biggest fear because I can make one mistake or go to a different path that I'm not supposed to be going. Like stuff like that, I don't know. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret is not learning more when I was a kid. I feel like I, w I was more into boys and hanging out and, you know, being a thought. Let's keep it real. Um, trying to be cool instead of reading a book. But hey, those days are have changed. What is your eye color? Stud brown, I think. Yeah. What inspires me? Oh, my God. I think what inspires me is learning something new every day. Maybe because I lacked that growing up. And, you know, yeah, learning something new is what inspires me. Every time I learn something new, I get butterflies in my stomach. And before, I never felt that before. Um, who is your favorite celebrity? Rihanna. Hello. Who is your favorite musician? Mm. I don't know because my music picks are so different. I love jazz, I love piano, I love hoodness, I love a little bit of everything. I love the country music, like I love all that. I love everything. Um, what is your favorite quote? I think it's this from Buddha, I think I have it, yeah, I do have it tatted on me. It says, don't dwell on the past, don't dwell on the future. Focus the mind on the present moment. Buddha. What is your favorite song right now? Right now, I'm just going back to like my old roots. Like I'm listening to like Celine Dion. Um, listening to like a lot of like ocean. But right, I don't know. I don't have a favorite song. I will have a song that I'll stick to for like a long time until like I'm over it. But yeah, I don't have a song. A favorite song. What's your favorite type of clothing? Baggy clothes. I fucking love baggy clothes. And I gotta stop cursing because I want endorsements. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it was better like this. Real cute like this. Mm-hmm. All right. What's your favorite way to pass time? I like to read poems. So the question was, sorry. What is your favorite way to pass time? Reading poems. When I'm at work and I'm bored and I don't, I don't have anything to do, I just Google a bunch of like Arthur's poetries and learn and read more. <coughs> Are you scared of heights? No. Are you high maintenance? Hell no. Are you a dog person or a cat person? A dog person. Are you a good cook? Yes, I like to cook healthy. My husband doesn't like eating healthy, so it's really hard for me to it's really hard for us to eat the same thing because I either got to compromise and eat his nasty ass, greasy ass food. Or if I want to eat good a day, if I want to cook some health, something healthy, I cook very healthy. But if I want to cook something healthy, he, he won't eat it. So it's kind of like, it's really hard to like, that's why either I compromise, eat his fat food, or we eat two different, different meals. Who is the best teacher you have ever had? I think my husband. My husband taught me a lot, educational-wise. And as a person, he's very in tune with himself. Can you whistle? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, are you a pr Do you prefer kissing or cuddling? Both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ow. Do you have a gar um do you have a garden? No, but that's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And now that I have my own place, I can put trees all over the place. Do you have tattoos? Yes, at 14. Do you have any allergies? Yes, I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> Birthmarks? Yeah, I have a bunch. Star sign Leo. <laughs> Let me get some good ones, papi. Have you ever dated two people at the same time? Yes, I've had, and it was a fucking mess. What kind of books do you like to read? I love poems, and right now I'm reading, I just finished reading The Salt Water um, by Brianna West. Um, she's amazing. This is her first poetry book, so 
you know, it was pretty cool to read. And it was really good. It's about self-awareness and being tuned yourself and coming back to who you really are. So, and that's what I'm all about right now. Being yourself and being who you really are. What drains your energy? People that do this. <sighs> like, why? Why? Like, you're putting out that nastiness. You want to take breaths? You take this, these breaths on your own, by yourself, in a private place. Now that's a good breather. What re replenish your energy? Me um, yoga, meditating, and breathing for a minute. Every time I'm annoyed and I breathe for a minute with my watch, I literally feel so much better. How often do you skip breakfast? Never. I eat breakfast. I wake up at 6 in the morning, so I eat breakfast every day. Like, it's, I love breakfast. It's like my favorite. Um, what's your favorite food? I like pasta mexican and burgers mm -mm. what did you want to be when you grew when you grew when you grow up i wanted to be a photographer always even had those portable cameras everywhere i used to spend most of my money developing pictures to what extent do you trust people i don't know At that beginning i don't trust you have to gain trust no i thought that's that's how it works uh, how does music matter to you? Well, I love music. I was supposed to be a singer back in my in another world in another time because I fucking love music. I love singing, and I love lip singing. <laughs> um, pick one: chatting, chatting or phone call. Chatting. Kill or be killed. Kill. <laughs> pick one: meat or fish. Fish. Pick one: Monopoly or chess. Monopoly. Pick one, Nike or Adidas? Nike. Pick one, Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Pick one, stripes or polka dots? Stripes. Pick one, summer or winter? Summer. Pick one, texting or phone calls? Calls. Pick one, vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Would you rather go bougie jump, but a bougie? <laughs> Bungee jumping or skydiving? Both, but if I have to choose, choose I'll do bungee jumping. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else do you want to know about me? Eh? I'll stay singing a song, guys. Like, I'm always singing a song. Whatever comes in my head, I just go with it. Oh, would you rather live in an apartment or a house? Uh, an apartment. I don't really like houses. It's a lot of maintenance. Would you rather walk funny or talk funny? <laughs> I'd rather talk funny. What else can I tell you guys? I love sunflowers, I love pasta, I love burgers, I love Mexican food. Um, I have a long ass name. Um, what else? I'm trying to change the world. I want to create this platform of people that just want to be themselves and want to strip off all of the things that they are not. That's what I want to do. What are your bad habits? I like to smoke a cigarette, you know, here and there. And you know, I've, I've stopped for 30 days. It's, you know, I don't do it every day, but it's just something that, you know, if I drink, I need one. <laughs> but that's something I need to stop. Best part of your job. Well, I'm a receptionist at this media management company. And um, I just love putting a smile on people's faces. Good morning, how are you? Like, that's me. Like, I am that face of the company, you know? What scares you about aging? Wow, that's a good question. What scares me about aging is adapting to the change, maybe? That's it, y'all. This is Revolve This Moon for you. I'm here with another video, Q&A video. And I just want you guys to please like my video and subscribe. And um, I'm going to try to do a video every every week for you guys. I want to be consistent. I want to prove and show you guys. Well, prove to myself and show you guys that I want to take this YouTube thing serious. And yeah, um, as we've often moon here for you. Ooh, 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 ooh.